Okay, so this worksheet is all about Yellow Perch and Lake Winnipeg. Basically, you're gonna be reading this short little excerpt, and then you're gonna be deciding which factors are density independent and which are density dependent. So let's remind ourselves that density independent limiting factors are factors that happen regardless of population size. Density dependent limiting factors only come into play when a population gets too large. So that's gonna be very important for you to remember. The first thing that you're gonna to need to do is obviously read and highlight this little excerpt. I really suggest highlighting because each of these paragraphs gives you a different limiting factor. Um, the one word that I wanted to point out that maybe you wouldn't know is spawn, and that's just when a fish releases its eggs. So if you wanna make a note of that really quick off to the side, spawn means fish releases eggs. Um, also, 302 millimeters is about a foot long. So these yellow perch grow to be about one foot, okay? The back side is where things can get a little bit confusing. So the first thing that you're gonna do over here is you are gonna list five different density independent limiting factors that you can pick out from the excerpt and five different density dependent limiting factors. So 10 limiting factors total, five are gonna happen regardless of density, population density. Five are only gonna happen when the population gets too large, okay? So then we have this side that says density blank because blank, and then we have this side that gives us nine different statements with lines below them. So what you're gonna do, station one goes with letter A. So if you wanna draw a line or if you wanna erase A and write one, station two goes with letter B, station three goes with letter C, four D, five E, six F, seven G, eight H, nine I, okay? So station one, we're gonna read this statement, rainbow smelt and yellow perch attempt to occupy the same area. The more aggressive smelt survive, the perch do not. Is that a density independent or dependent limiting factor? Write independent or dependent here. Sorry about the bell. So density independent or dependent, write that here. Because, tell me how you know that it's independent. Tell me how you know that it's dependent. Hopefully that makes sense to everybody. Number two, same thing, a severe flood brings a lot of sediment and silt into Lake Winnipeg. The turbidity of the lake increases greatly. Is that a density independent or dependent limiting factor? Put it here and then tell me how you know, okay? So these nine statements go with these nine stations. Make sure you're putting the correct statement with the correct station, otherwise you're gonna get it wrong, okay? This is for a minor grade. We're working on this by ourselves. You have about 25 minutes to do this. What you do not finish from both of these worksheets, you all, is going to be homework because I am collecting both of them for minor grades. So you need to make sure that you're working diligently, you're staying on task, you are not just playing around with your group. Um, you need to be on task, all right?